Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x this is equal to 90 so what is the value of x? let's provide the solution from here this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m so this implies that here we have 3 raised to the power of x plus x this is equal to 90 so here we have 3 raised to the power of x plus x this is 2x this is equal to 90 to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rock 3 to the power of 2x this is equal to rock 90 you find that rock 3 raised to the power 2x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then rock 3 to the power of 2x becomes 2x rock 3. This is equal to rock 90. So let's divide both signs by rock 3 from here by rock 3. So that now, if you simplify here, we have 2x, this is equal to rock 90, divided by rock 3. The next step from here, we can express 90, basically as 9 times 10. So this implies here we have 2x is equal to rock, this is 9 times 10, divided by rock 3. We have that rock 9 times 10, this is in the form of rock A times B, which we can express as rock A, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Applying this logarithm property from here, we have 2x is equal to rock 9 divided by rock 3, then plus rock 10 divided by rock 3. The next step is that we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. So this implies here we have 2x is equal to rock 3 to the power of 2 divided by rock 3 then plus rock 10 divided by rock 3. Now we have rock 3 to the power of 2, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Applying this logarithm property, then this means we have 2x, this is equal to 2 rock 3 divided by rock 3, then plus, this is rock 10 divided by rock 3. So let's simplify here, so that now, 2x is equal to 2 plus this is rock 10 divided by rock 3. The next step is that you can express 10 basically as 5 times 2. So this implies that here we have 2x, this is equal to 2 plus this is rock 5 times 2 divided by rock 3. So again here, we have that rock 5 times 2, this is in the form of rock A times B, which you can express as rock A plus rock B. So we have here 2x, this is equal to 2, plus this is rock 5 over rock 3, then plus rock 2 over rock 3. We have that rock 5 over rock 3 and rock 2 over rock 3. This is in the form of rock A over rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. So that now we have 2x, this is equal to 2, plus, now this is rock 5 to base 3. Then we have plus, this is rock 2 to base 3. The next step is to divide both signs by 2, by 2, 
so that now here we have that x is equal to now this is 2 divided by 2 which is 1 then plus here we have a half rho 5 to base 3 then plus here we have a half rho 2 to base 3 now we have the value of x as 1 plus a half rho 5 to base 3 plus a half rho 2 to base 3 so the next step is to verify so let's verify from here so if you recall we entered 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 90. we have that this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m so here we have 3 raised to the power of x plus x which is 2x this is equal to 90. This should give us a value of 90. Substituting x here, this implies we have 3 to the power of 2. Into the parentheses, we have 1 plus a half rho 5 to base 3. Then plus a half rho 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 90 from here. Now, let's open the parentheses here. We have 3 raised to the power 2 times 1. This is 2. Then plus 2 times a half. So this implies here we have rho 5 to base 3. Then plus a half times 2 here. This implies we have rho 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 90. So, 3 raised to the power 2 plus rock 5 to base 3 plus rock 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property from here, we have 3 raised to the power 2 times 3 raised to the power rock 5 to base 3 times 3 raised to the power rock 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 90 from here so 3 to power 2 this is equal to 9 times now we have that 3 raised to the power of 5 to base 3 and 3 raised to the power of 2 to base 3 this is in the form of a raised to the power of b to base a which essentially is equal to b this is supposed to give us a value of b now let's apply this logarithm property so that now 3 raised to the power of 5 to base 3, this is equal to 5, and 3 raised to the power of 2 to base 3, this is equal to 2. So now, let's substitute here, 3 raised to the power of 5 to base 3, which is 5, so we have 5 here, times 3 raised to the power of 2 to base 3, which is equal to 2, this should give us a value of 90 from here. 9 times 5, this is 45 times 2 this is equal to 90 and this is equal to 90 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x which is equal to 1 plus a half rock 5 to base 3 plus a half rock 2 to base 3 actually satisfies the equation so kind of follow the steps like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video